Hey, and what up, y'all? Welcome back to Bruise with Beck. I'm Dan. How the hell are you? I am terrific, uh, especially if you see what's next to me. Terrific, terrific. Um, what we've got in front of us is the final frontier that I got from uh, Trustworthy Brewing out of Burbank, California. Um, had to literally just, you know, take the top off right now just to make sure it was ready so I wouldn't be struggling. Um, so this is their um, bourbon barrel aged out for 12 months in Buffalo Trace barrels, uh, blended with heaps of, of coconut, as they say. Um, it is 12.6 on the Richter. And uh, yeah, it's supposed to have smooth oak smokiness accompanied with caramel and coconut warmth to go well with any, with any evening plans, uh, which is, you know, what I'm planning right now. Uh, yeah, Buffalo Trace, uh, always appreciate that whiskey and uh, always appreciate Trustworthy. So, you know, been looking forward to this. Looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. And uh, yeah. That's about all I got. The, the finale of my five beer tour of Trustworthy Brewing. Uh, let's get it going. I had to peel off the wax. Let's go. Dodgers came with me. All right. Do me a favor. That like button that's right below me. You know the drill. Just give me a big tap on it right now. Really appreciate you. Uh, and uh, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you can lock, watch all the beers. All the time. And all right, all right, all right. All right. Had to, uh, usually I just use my, uh, Bruise with Beck, you know, uh, mug. But, you know, tonight, obviously, special bourbon barrel aged, uh, you know, got to have some respect for that. You got to put it in the snifta. So, all right. I'm looking forward to actually getting, if they put a lot of coconut, getting some coconut in this. And, uh, yeah, I mean, oak and, you know, smoke and caramel. All sounds delicious to me, so, uh, you know, let's give it up. Here's the trustworthy. No words, just emotions. Let's do this. Very smooth. Um, if I didn't know what this was at first, I would almost not for sure. I think I would know it was Baron Barrel right off the first sip, but, you know, some are very forward with the uh the whiskey but i believe you know so, some uh you know some disguise it very well with maybe maybe the coconuts tonight nice and blending with it let's see okay second time around still really smooth for uh 12.6 definitely detected it's you know bourbon barrel aged um but yeah it's not like doesn't give huge bourbon uh, notes like, you know, some you re it really digs in with that. Uh, but then again, you know, just depends on the time of the barrel. Um, getting the caramel, getting like a, almost like a multi, you know, multo meal uh, type of thing, you know, like when I had when I was a kid. Yeah, ver very much so. Get, get that kind of multo meal with a little added caramel. Um, so yeah, just kind of straight uh, cocoa and subtle chocolate to go with uh, caramel so far. Um, I'm gonna sip on it for about another minute as my kid, you know, loves to watch his TV and banter. And uh, I'll let you know what else I get from it in a second. Hold your cold beverages. Alrighty then. Um, so, yeah, I mean, this one does isn't. Uh, I mean, again, I you know when I it's one of my favorite uh, barrel aged outs in you know have have uh, a coffee element, which is a whole other extreme element uh, that can really you know make or break a make one of these stouts. But this is very very smooth, delicious. Mouthfeel is eh, you know I'd probably say about fifty percent. It's not it's not huge. It's not syrupy. It just it's kind of got a chocolate malt meets like you, if you really whirl it around you can actually smell both the bourbon and and you know the coconut kind of you know just imagine coconut uh shreds under your nose and with a, like a chocolate malt um and just a little like toffiness from from the uh 
from like a little bit of the barrel aging. Um, but yeah, like smooth, like all that really smooth, not too, too, too aggressive. If I, if I, it drinks pretty, pretty like not too thick. Like if I, if I had to guess what this was, I'm not sure. I mean, I wouldn't have guessed anything less than 10. Um, but I don't know if I'd guess 12, six, it, you know, it could easily be like 10 to 11, but you know, all elements are there that would actually lead to, you know, it, it also, I also could maybe, I don't think I would have guessed over 12. So pretty smooth. Well done. Trustworthy. Me. The last bit so that way when we end the review my wife can enjoy some of this bad boy um but yeah there you go bourbon barrel aged stout with coconut and yeah it's just just about 17 ounces of this stuff for i think you can get it for 18.99 at trustworthy so um you know absolutely worth it especially they you know buffalo trace barrels and 12 months and all that good stuff so Check it out. Um, one more taste, and I'm going to uh, get to the rating here. Just, you know, enjoying this nice, calm, collected evening, uh, go, you know, on the weekend, uh, and being able to enjoy this bourbon barrel, fine bourbon barrel aged out from, from a, a Burbank, a nice fine Burbank brewery. If I can spit it all out. Yeah. Chocolate, you know, good cocoa malt, chocolate malt with... Uh, Subtle hints of coconut, uh, toffee, little caramel, and, uh, you know, thus kind of coming from the bourbon. So, rating time. All right. There you go. There you go. Dodgers are coming back in the series. Don't worry about it. You can see my lights there. Sorry about that. From stellar down to, oh, hell no. You pretty much eliminate down here just siding between these two one more nice sip okay yeah this is going to get a final trustworthy bourbon barrel aged solid um, I would give this out of a hundred, so solid straight A beer. Uh, I'd give it a 95 out of a hundred. So just perfect straight A beer. Um, you know, doesn't get too aggressive, get just a really nice, easy going, uh, multi, multi chocolate with a little aspects of just subtle coconut. Oop, don't, don't want to spill that on my jeans. That'd be terrible. Not for the jeans, just the fact that I had to give up about, you know, half ounce of uh, good beer here. But, um, yeah, it's it's just easy going down and uh, enjoying it. So, you know, that's about all I got. Keeping it long again, but always want to keep it long, right? And, uh, yeah, there you go. So, here's the all. Thanks for thanks for having, having a cold beverage with me. Thank you, Trustworthy. I look forward to uh, trying many, many more A brews in the future. Uh, it was nice going from a lager all all the way up to a, a big bourbon barrel aged out. And uh, yeah, spot out. Signing out for the dude. Got to have more of them in your life. But um, yeah, on to, on to more Houston beers next. So uh, yeah, that's about all I got. I know this is a terrible sign off because I'm. I was about to tribute to the Dodgers, but we're going to have to just do that another time. So, um, yeah, Burbank, go check Trustworthy. Check this out. Check all their beers. And uh, we'll see you on the next review. Good talk. See you out there. Peace.